How to edit mod files in Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. So I've been playing the mod The Old Realms, which is a Warhammer Total Conversion mod. And in this mod, you, you can cast spells. So I'm used to going into a notepad file and just like editing mods from like ones I've played in the past. But when Steam Workshop came out, I was struggling to find like where the files were. So if you are struggling, this is the file path you need. Steam apps, workshop, content. I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out with the numbers, but what I did was I typed in a search. I knew the search, and it came up with this. The um, to it came up with this this notepad here. So I went open file location, and this is where it was. So we can actually edit spells now. So if you've been watching my clips, towards the end of the battle, I get a bit clogged up because all my troops are dead. Usually I'm in like a 2,000 versus, 3, 2000 versus 300 battle. I'm like severely outnumbered. And when you get to the end of the fight, you can't cleave through them all. Um, you've run out of winds of magic. So this is a way to get around it. So I'm going to change the cost of the winds of magic so i'm reducing the mana of everything basically changing the cooldown so that's going to one i'm just i'm just gonna change everything to like one uh, essentially so i can just spam every ability and it's gonna cost me no mana to do it so the next clips are gonna be insane but essentially you just delete it find the thing like the, they're usually named pretty well it depends on what mods you're, you're using but this will work on the mountain warcraft one this will work on the game of thrones one um, this it works on mods which lets you access these um, notepad files anyway so um, find whatever you want to do i'm going to change that to one then just click Control s restart your game and boom the next time you load in instead of a 10 second cooldown you'll have a one second cooldown and it only costs one mana instead so that was a quick guide um, I'm so glad you could do this. I didn't think you was allowed to do it with Steam Workshop. Like I've always gone through Nexus Mods or Mod DB, um, and it was just been really annoying to try and edit stuff through Steam Workshop. But now that I've found this, amazing! Like I can actually play everything without having to go to those websites. So happy days! Leave a comment, like and subscribe. What else do you want to see? Peace.